and thanks for joining my channel, The Eclectic Life. Um, we are headed to the lumber yard to pick up 37 board feet of Jatoba, also known as Brazilian Cherry. So we're headed there, headed there right now. Um, I don't know about you guys, but 37 board feet, that's a pretty good bit of wood for me considering the small outfit I am. So yeah, like I said, I'm driving there right now. It's Friday, I just got off. So, obviously I'm not gonna shoot a video the whole time I'm driving there. So what I'll do is, is uh, once I get to the lumber yard, I'll, I'll resume and we'll shoot a little video of me picking the wood up and all that good stuff excited to make some stuff with this wood. Um, the idea I've got is using mainly Jatoba and building a probably like a coffee table and maybe some end tables to kind of go with it like a little three piece set. So like I said mainly using Jatoba but I'd like to incorporate some tiger wood into it as well and I've got a couple ideas I'm kind of toying around with and I'm going to be shooting a video of those of that whole process and that build and everything so just kind of stay tuned uh, like I said in some of my other videos I've got a lot of content or I've got some good content and what I what I would say a lot of content coming up because it's going to take me a while to build up this little uh, just called uh, uh, three piece three piece uh, furniture set but if everything goes good which I hope it is it's gonna look awesome this Jatoba is some beautiful wood this piece I'm going to pick up is uh, it is like I said total 37 board feet so quick dimensions on it 16 inches wide by 2 inches thick by 14 feet long so um, <clears throat> according to like a wood database I think it says like 4.6 pounds per board feet so I went ahead went with 5 pounds per board feet which comes out to about 180 pounds total which is not ungodly that's manageable not by one person so what I'm gonna have them do is cut it into two seven foot sections and that should be able to give me plenty of um, you know enough um, the ability to work with it on my own and um, yeah so there you go once I get to the uh, lumber yard we'll uh, resume video shooting thanks for watching my channel the eclectic life all right we are here at the lumber yard so i'm looking at this tiger wood just trying to see if i see anything that i like i like this one it's got uh got these uh nice dark runs in it uh, i'm gonna look at a couple more pieces check this place out it's pretty big there's a lot more behind all that wood over there but I'm fixing to go up there and tell them that um, I'm here to pick that wood up. They've been holding it for me for a couple of days. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be back once we're actually loading it onto the, onto the van. But uh, there's that tiger wood. That's some pretty, uh, some really pretty looking wood right there. I'm thinking about getting that piece right there. Thanks for watching.
right, we got the Jatoba. We got it in here, as you can see. Two, uh, two seven foot uh, pieces. A lot more manageable than than one 14 foot piece. Still heavy as shit, but uh, not near as bad. Not near as bad. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm super stoked about it. Go ahead. I'm waiting on this guy to back up. So I can park. All right, I'm gonna go inside and talk to him about this uh, Tiger Wood. Uh, I'm probably not picking that up. I'm not gonna pick it up today, uh, just cause I'm a little tight on money right now. Uh, anyways, I'm sure you don't care about all that shit. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Gonna be building some nice furniture with this. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking the little three piece set, like a coffee table and some two end tables. I'm gonna, I'm thinking I wanna incorporate some tiger wood, maybe some tiger wood um, uh, inlays, but I got kind of some weird ideas about this inlay you just have to stick with me to see them. Kind of funky, some stuff I've never seen. Um, and then also, um, regardless of what species I incorporate with the uh, Jatoba, I'm going to, I wanna do, I wanna figure out how I can do some steam bending for the legs to give it some really unique um, contour lines and just kind of really make it stand out as far as a, a piece goes or a set in that in that manner because I'm gonna do it on the side tables and the main coffee table as well so yeah so well uh, you just have to stay tuned to uh, see all that thanks for watching my channel the eclectic life Stay tuned for the uh, Jatoba uh, furniture build. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get as many subscribers as possible, obviously, just like everyone. We're a fairly new channel, so we don't have a lot of subscribers, but it seems like we're getting some good views and, you know, some good responses. Uh, you know, there's kind of there's um, some pecker heads in the in the comments and stuff like that. There always is whatever. It's just like you know, watch the video, enjoy it, or either don't enjoy it. We don't care that you're smarter than us, okay? Unless you actually are smarter than us. All right, thanks for watching. All right, thanks for joining us again. I just got done carrying in. Um, one piece of this uh jatoba kind of a little disappointed it looks like when they were maybe moving it around with forklifts it knocked a uh, nice little chunk off right there so we'll just have to work around that i don't think it's a super big deal but a little disappointed um there's the end grain right there it's kind of, you know, kind of got some burn marks, but it's got some really nice, uh, nice looking end grain. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. It's, it's more awkward than it is heavy. That's for sure. I think the piece only weighs about a hundred pounds and that is 16 inches by two inches by seven feet long so nice little chunk um it is going to go right there on that bottom shelf i got some uh reinforcement for now just because i'm pretty sure two of these is going to be over the limit for sure i want to say those shelves are like 110 pounds 
and both of these pieces weigh about 180 pounds I'd say something like that somewhere in that neighborhood so yeah just got back uh, now we're um, gonna get it uh, put up for a while let it kind of acclim acclimate to the uh, shop environment just the moisture level and stuff like that see what it's gonna do if it's gonna you know it is I mean it's like an that's pretty it's pretty damn straight right there nice and that's pretty damn good really for sure that's not a crack by the way right there that is a saw mark there we go it is pretty straight right there I'd say yeah, pretty good. We'll see if it stays like that. All right. I'm going to go grab the other piece, which is the same exact measurements as this one. And I mentioned it in my other videos. I'm going to be, the plan is to make some furniture out of this. I'm thinking just um, a, like a little three-piece set or something, but that's yet to be written in stone and determined 100%. So we'll see how it goes, you know, what ideas I went with. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back. Thank you. All right. Uh, we got the wood up on the lumber rack. Not time to maybe do another lumber rack on the other side of this wall back behind me um we got you know not a huge selection but we got some different woods on there to play with i got that sepalea up there to do a project with as well um yeah so that was kind of a pain to get it up on that shelf from down here in, in the floor. I mean, not in the floor, just standing out here, you know, having to hang over so far because of these uh, benches right here. It's just a setup I gotta have. This is my shop space, so yeah. Um, so there you have it. Uh, can't wait to start working with it build some really nice stuff i think it's going to be great uh we'll be back thank you